kitchen. Jen? Jen? Oh, sorry. Oh. Jason? Oh, shoot. Monica. How could you do this? With my sister? I, I've got, I've got to go. Get out of my house! Monica, I'm sorry. Are you sure? No. No, you're not. You're just, you have everything. You're the smart one. You're the beautiful one. I just wanted my boyfriend. Well, you can have him, Jim. Sorry. Do you see her toes? Oh, her toes. I know. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe how perfect she is, Brad. Now that she's here, it makes everything we went through totally worth it. Lily, I don't, I don't know how to thank you. And we're so grateful. I knew the moment we met, you would make wonderful parents. Just like the other family I gave this gift to, you're both so loving and kind. You changed our lives forever. We can't. Thank you enough. Yeah. Oh, who's that? Oh, I bet I know. It's my sister again. She's been blowing out my phone. Uh, yeah, she's been texting me too. You want me to get her? Sure. Yeah. Jen. Okay. Yeah, six pounds, seven ounces, 19 inches. Olivia is healthy and perfect. Can I see her? Yeah, come with me. But hey, Jen. It's been an emotional day. Let's keep it positive, concentrate on the baby. Of course. I just think it should have been me as the surrogate. Or family. I'm just so happy you're happy. I have been stuck out there waiting to meet you, Olivia. Oh, look at her. Let me hold her. Yeah. Why didn't you answer my call? So oh, we've been a little busy. Be careful, careful, careful. Look at her. She's so perfect. There's Jen. Yeah, that's her. I kind of want some time, but... Bless her heart. <laughs> Welcome home! Hello. Jen, thank you. Oh. Oh. Ruby and I made it. 
She wanted to be here today, but I'm gonna bring her by later tonight. Thank you. Can I hold her? Can I hold her? Let's go outside first. Yeah. I didn't know you were coming by. <laughs> oh, I didn't. Where else would I be, right? <laughs> Come on, Olivia. <laughs> Hi, baby. Gentle, I know how to handle a baby, Monica. I think she looks like me. I'll go make sure the nursery is set. Okay. Let's take a selfie. Mm. Uh. Mm. Sam, I have to take it. Mm. Hey. What time are you dropping off Ruby? What do you mean? It's my night is what I mean. Ruby said she wants to meet her cousin tonight, so it doesn't matter if it's your night. She has homework. She has a right to see her cousin, Sam. That's fine. I'll just pick her up my, myself. No, you can't do that because she's my daughter, too, Sam. Uh, and he hung up on me? He's so not okay. I'm calling him back. Okay? No, 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 no. Don't call him back. You're too upset. And Jen, you can't let Sam get to you like this. Mm. You know, Ruby misses me, and she wants to meet Olivia. Mm. He's just being so unreasonable and by the book. Oh, lawyers. Hey, thanks. Oh, no, no, not you. You're amazing. I wouldn't have the house if it weren't for you. It's just Sam, you know? He, he calls me a bad mom because I'm not raising Ruby the way he thinks she should be raised. You're a great mom. I know. You are. His, his ego is just bruised because you left him. And remember, you're being true to yourself and you're not letting him control you. But he's still controlling me. Now my child's slowly being taken from me. Hey, that's not gonna happen. Not if I can help it. You are so lucky you have a nice daddy, Olivia. I wish Ruby did. Seriously, Mon? You have it all. Beautiful home, an amazingly supportive husband with a successful business. Your law practice is on fire, and now you have Olivia. Mom and Dad would be so proud of you. They always were, though. They were proud of you, too. <laughs> yeah, right. They were. And hey, we're gonna win Ruby's custody case. Thanks, Mom. You're mm -hmm. always on my side. Oh, I gotta open the present. What? You did not have to do that. <gasps> Jen. I used to read that to Ruby when she was little. I know. And Olivia's gonna love it just the same. Yeah. And I'm all set to jump in and nanny. You just say the word. I already switched all my yoga classes tonight. Thanks. <laughs> the nursery's all set. Great. Come on, Olivia. Let's go see your new room. <laughs> you have it all, Monica. Jen is obsessed with Olivia. Oh, she misses Ruby. You know, Sam's barely let her see her the last three weeks. I know. At least she's been busy here. Well, you've been a great sister for putting up with her. She was there for me a lot after the accident. She's the reason why you got into the accident in the first place, Ma. But that's all behind us. We were young. Jen has a really big heart. She's just... <laughs> out to lunch sometimes. <laughs> She's determined to know every detail of Olivia's schedule. Oh, she can't wait for us to get back to work. You know, I'm gonna have to uh, make sure Jen stays focused whenever she takes over. And you know her. Unfortunately, uh, I have to go back to work earlier than we planned. Mm. It's okay. I have a doctor's appointment. And Olivia can just come with me. Oh, and Jen will be here to help me tomorrow afternoon. Oh, why don't you stop by the office after your appointment? Jen can meet you there. Are you sure? It's only been two weeks, right? And I'm going to miss our little Olivia on my first day back to work. It'll be nice to see her and you. Hey, babe. What's wrong? Nothing, I'm sorry. I, it's just, I mean, I know I should be grateful that we have Olivia, and I am, but part of me is like heartbroken for the things I couldn't do for her. Like what? I couldn't 
carry her inside of me. I couldn't deliver her. I can't even breastfeed her, Brad. I... Babe, Olivia doesn't care about any of that. She just wants you to love her. You're gonna make the best mom ever. You have more love to give than anyone I've ever met. And Olivia and I are lucky to have you. Thank you. Office. I have cookies. Lily. Oh, Lily. Oh, you are so sweet. <laughs> uh, only raisin for you and chocolate chip for you know who. You know me too well, and we have missed you. Uh, yes. It's been two weeks. You look amazing. <laughs> this is for Olivia. Thank you. Uh, my mom read it to me when I was a baby, and apparently I loved it. Oh my gosh, she's so much bigger. How is the little princess? Well, the little princess was up all night. Mm -hmm. But I made some coffee. Do you want some? I would love some. But let me get it. You're a sleep deprived mom now. <laughs> Besides, I know where everything is in this office. It hasn't been that long since I worked here. You know, I was so happy to hear from you, Brad. Um, and you said that you have a surprise for me? Oh, I do. Check it out. Okay. You are officially the star of the new app we're developing, Baby Steps. What do you think? Wow. Seeing Olivia grow inside of you really inspired me, and our focus groups are absolutely loving it. It's a bit overwhelming. I mean, I, I just, I, I never could have imagined an app about my pregnancy would come from a temp job. Well, we never imagined a temp would volunteer to be our surrogate, so... When Brad told me what you guys were going through, I knew I could help. I mean, the first time I did it, it made me so happy. So, why not do it again? <laughs> we are so blessed to have met you, Lily. <laughs> Look at you two with her. You know, if you make an app about parenting, you two should be the stars. <laughs> you, actually, I'll get a picture. <laughs> We'd love a picture. Thank you. No problem. Happy to. Smile. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> oh, hey, Lily, if you're free tomorrow, do you want to go on a picnic with Olivia and me? I would love that. So meet at my house at 10? That sounds perfect. That does sound perfect. Oh, great, Jen, you're here. Hi, Jen. I brought the bottle warmer. I got your text to bring it over. Thank you. Uh, could you uh, take a picture of us with Lily, please? Yeah, that would be, that'd be great. Here's my phone. Hey, Jen, did you bring the formula? Oh, no, I forgot. It's okay. <laughs> I'll just take Olivia home and Brad can actually get some work done. <laughs> hey, Jen. What? You'll take the photo. <laughs> oh, sorry. <sighs> uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, it was so great to see you guys, and she's perfect. See you tomorrow. Hey, oh, don't forget to send me the picture. I want to frame it. Oh, of course. <laughs> uh, before you go, can you um, take one of us? Is it already noon? I'm, I'm sorry, I, I really have to go, um, but I'll see you guys. <laughs> Bye, Lily. Bye, Lily. I love her. So do my investors. <laughs> Okay, well, let's pack up. We don't have any formulas. Okay. So. Am I ever getting a photo of all of us together? You know, as a family? Actually, how about you come with us to the park tomorrow for the picnic? We can get a photo there. Okay, yeah. Thanks for inviting me. I'll see you at the car. It's her tummy again. Hey, Jen, can you grab that medicine, please? Wow, it's beautiful. I've never been here before. 
We used to come here when we were little. Jim, do you have it? I can't find it. I asked you specifically to bring it. Give me a sec, I know it's in here. I know a technique that might help. Do you mind if I try? Of course. Yeah. So, if you just move your hand clockwise like that, and it helps move the gas and relieve the pain. Ow! It's working, Olivia. <laughs> How did you know that? I read a lot of baby books during both pregnancies, just <laughs> make sure I was doing everything right, so. An overachieving surrogate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I knew you would be. She's happy now. Say thank you, Lily. <laughs> of course. That's my girl. Yeah. Thank you so much for inviting me. That was really fun. Kidding? Thank you so much for coming. Of course. Ooh, Brad said they're launching the app next week. Wow, that's soon. I know. I still can't get over that poster. <laughs> it's Ruby. She misses me. She says that Sam's being way too strict. Break wasn't on. You just need to flip this pedal with your foot like this. Make sure I know how to use it. Clearly, you don't, Jen. She could have been hit. I thought that I did. I mean, I know that I, I did. Let's just go home. Here, I can help oh if you want it. Oh, she could have been hit, Brad. Can't believe it. What did Jen say? That she thought she set the break. And then she was sure she did. I'm wondering if it's a good idea for her to be our nanny. I don't think it is. She forgot the formula. She forgot Olivia's stomach medicine. Now this. I love my sister. I don't know what's going on with her right now. Maybe it's a custody battle with Sam. We need to put Olivia first. Yeah. I can take Olivia to the office with me until we get things figured out. You know what? We, get, we can have mommy and me time. Jennifer, what can I do for you? I was wondering if I could take Ruby to lunch this Saturday. I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? Well, for starters, it's my day, and I want her with me. Plus, you're not a good influence on her right now. Why would you think that on her mother? She told me you let her create a YouChat account. But she was feeling so left out, Sam. OK, well, you need to check with me first. I'll talk to her. I already took it off her phone. Why would you do something like that, Sam? You know, you don't even know what she wants. She wants is not as important as what she needs. As a mother, you don't seem to understand that. You're not here to be Ruby's best friend. You're here to be her role model, to make sure she's safe and focused. But you can't seem to get that. Even your sister knows you can't. What did my sister say? You have problems, Jennifer. But you're not my problem anymore. Thanks, guys. And we'll talk later. All right, be safe. Hey, you? <laughs> hey. 
There's our star. What are you doing here? Oh, I had to sign a release form for your baby app. I'm also looking for temp jobs if anything opens up. I thought you wanted something more permanent. Ideally. Mm. Uh, but until I find it, temping's gonna have to do. <laughs> um, by the way, if you ever want someone to watch Olivia so you guys can go on a date night, just let me know. Really? Yeah. Actually, can you wait here for a minute? Hey, babe. Hey, how's it going? I'm between feeding her, changing her, and rocking her. This briefing's gonna take me forever. Yeah, I'm leaving soon. I can swing by and take her home so you can get some work done. Thank you. Hey, listen. I have an idea. I'm intrigued. I'm thinking Lily should be our nanny. Wait, what about Jen? What about Jen? No, you're right. But, I mean, would Lily even be up for it? Well, she's here now. She told me that she's looking for a job. She actually even volunteered to babysit. <laughs> Think about it, Mom. We could go out once in a while. Well, that'd be nice. I'll see if she can follow me to the office when I pick up Olivia and we can talk about it. Jen's coming over in about an hour to go over her paperwork. Um, can you get your fast? We'll be right over. I love you. Hey, are you busy right now? I uh, no. Why? Knock, knock. Hey. Aw, hey. oh, you see Dad. You're giving Mommy a hard time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi, beautiful. Oh. Hi, Lily. Oh. How are you? Good. Good. OK, so Lily, um, we could really use some help with Olivia. And Brad mentioned you were looking for work. Would you be interested in a nanny position? Uh, really? I mean, only if you're comfortable. <laughs> I, I would love to. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> For what? Oh, nothing. Actually, you're early. <laughs> Maybe we should get going. Uh, yeah. Um, here, let, let me help you. Oh, I'll call you tomorrow, Lily. Great. That's great. Okay, so we have a lot to go over. Sam's amended the custody. Agreement. What just happened? With Lily? I know something did. What? We'll talk about it tomorrow, because we have a lot to go over here. No. Now, Mon. We've decided to have Lily help us with Olivia. Instead of me, because of the other day. You have uh, your yoga studio and Ruby. This is just, it's gonna be better this way. For who? Yeah. No, you're, you're, you're right. Let's, um, let's deal with Ruby right now. Uh, so Sam filed a custody amendment. Sorry, um, just so I know, when is, um, Lily gonna start? I really need you right now to focus on this, okay? Yeah, okay. Okay, so. Sam's filing for full custody. He agreed to 50-50. Originally he did. I don't know what happened, but he's changed his mind. He always changes his mind and he always gets his way. You and Sam have it all and I'm left with nothing. Jen. No. I see what you're doing. I see what's going on. You are both punishing me. He is taking my baby and you have hired someone else to take care of my niece. Sam told me, you don't think I'm a good mom. I never said that. Then why would you do this to me? Why would, would you hire a, a stranger over your own sister? I have tried my entire life to be like you, Monica, to be good and responsible. Now I'm being kicked out of my own family? You're still her aunt. You can come visit her anytime you want, Jen. And as for Ruby, just because he's filing for full custody, that does not mean he's going to get it. I see what you're doing. You're still punishing me for the accident. Isn't 10 years enough? It has nothing to do with that. You are taking her away from me just like she is. Jen! Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. No, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I forgot my purse. Are you okay? 
Oh yeah, it's nothing. Um, is Jen okay? I'm sorry, my sister's going through a lot right now, and uh, sometimes she has a short fuse. She'll be okay. She'll be fine. I'm sure of it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. What's the nature of your emergency? It's probably just some high school kids like the police said. Mm -hmm. So it was just my car window that was smashed. It was the only one. Then who? Uh, some old client with a grudge? Actually, Jen left the office really upset today. I've never seen her that mad. You think Jen did this? Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm sorry about what happened today. I lost my temper. Well, how are you now? So upset. You chose some random girl over me. It hurts. Well, he's not random, Jen, but I can understand how you would feel that way with everything going on with Ruby, so. Hey, listen, you were pretty upset when you left today. She didn't like do anything like crazy, did you? What are you talking about? Well, whenever I left work, my car window was smashed, Jen. I had to call the police, file a report. And you're thinking I did it? Are you kidding me? No, I just, Monica, I can't even believe you would consider it. Give me some credit. I, I just needed to be sure. It's insulting. You're right. You're right. Can we talk about this tomorrow? No, I'm not gonna talk about this again. Ever. Ruby was looking everywhere for that. I'd like to give it to Ruby myself. Well, she's busy, so thanks. Ah! Oh, yay, your mom's here. Hi, sweetie, how are you? I've missed you. I missed you too. Baby girl, now that you got your notebook, I need you to go start your homework, all right? She just got here. I know, Ruby, but I need to talk to her, and you still need to do your homework. Listen to your dad, honey, it's okay. I'll see you soon. Can we do my nails today? Of course, sweetie. Go start your homework. I'll be there soon. Why are you doing this, Sam? She clearly misses me. You cannot file for full custody. Ruby's starting to forget things. She's distracted. She's losing her temper. She's starting to act a lot like you. 
She's nine, and this is her mom. She seems very preoccupied, Jennifer. Her parents are getting a divorce, Laura. And her father has a new girlfriend. It's a lot. Don't take your anger out on me. I'm the one doing everything for Ruby. You should be thanking me. Thanking you. Okay, be reasonable. Jennifer, you're just not suited to care for Ruby like we are. You're a bad influence. I'm her mother. Well, I'm kind of like her mom too now. Oh, Jennifer! You are not her mother. What are you gonna do, hit me? Jennifer! We will definitely get Ruby that way. You will never get her. And you will never be her mother. You need to leave, Jennifer, now. Get off of my property. I'll see you in court. You're gonna have to pay for that. You know, she was vicious. Hey, think big picture and control your impulses. You know Sam's documenting all this for the judge. I don't even know if I can anymore. He's such a jerk. Then do it for Ruby. Oh, I have to show you what I bought her. <gasps> Mother-daughter bracelets, aren't they cute? She's gonna love those. I think so too. Yeah. I saw Lily's car out front. How's that going? Uh. It's good. I mean, it's just her first day, but good. Hey, you wanna... You wanna make Olivia's bottle? Sure. Hey! Oh, Jen, I didn't know you were here. Hey, Lily. Hey, could you pass me burp cloth, please? Oh, sure. <sighs> Sorry. Thank you. Oh, the book I gave you. That's actually the book that Lily got Olivia. Oh. Great minds think alike. <laughs> I guess so. Hey, Jen, you know, you know, Olivia's bottle. Uh, yeah. Sure. Uh, and I'm gonna go finish the laundry. Uh, thanks. Yeah. Hey, Jen. I'm so sorry about the book. Please don't be mad. No, I'm fine. I don't really care. Here. Do you want to feed him? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Did you eat Jen? Oh. Yeah. Sleepy baby. So oh. mm. Thank you. Were you able to get a birthday present for Brad? Oh, yeah. Well, Lily saw him looking at this watch online, oh. so. I got it. Okay. Hey, what's this? This doesn't look like Olivia's brand. It's amazing. It's what I gave Ruby when she was a baby. It's rich in proteins and vitamins. It's organic. Jen, you can't do that. Give her to me. No. What, what did I do? You can't. You can't switch a baby's formula. It'll upset her stomach. But it'll be easier on her stomach. You didn't even ask me, Jen. Look, I know, I know what I'm doing. See, this is why you wouldn't work as her nanny. Mom, look, I'm sorry. I was just trying to help. Well, I have Lily for that, so. It'd just be so much easier if I took care of Olivia. I promise I'll do everything the way that you want. Sorry, Jen, I, this is what's best for now. But I'm her aunt. My love for her is different. Blood is blood. I don't want to talk about this anymore, okay? But I just want to, shh. She's, a, she's sleeping. You know, it's like you love Lily more than you love me. Well, that's not true.
All right, laundry's done. Um, I can organize Olivia's toys if you want. Uh, she's, she's sleeping. Uh, was that in, in the garbage? Uh, I'm, I'm so sorry, Lily. I have no idea how this happened or how it got there. Jen was the last one to have it. Yeah. Why would she do that? It's complicated. Please don't take it personally. Jen got into an argument with her ex and his girlfriend today, and Laura said some really hurtful things. It seems like Jen's going through a lot. But I will talk to her. Thank you for everything you've done today. It's, uh, but I think I can take it from here. Oh, okay. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Thanks. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Are you ready? I am the best soccer player in the world. You are, girl. I remember that. Last week you scored two goals? No, not two, but three. Three goals? Not three, but four. Four goals? <laughs> okay, yeah. let's see. Let's see what you got. Come on. Whoa! That was some fancy footwork, Ruby. Thank you. Oh. Okay, come on, try me again. Here we go. Hey. Hey, what what are you up to? Uh just running errands. I'm sorry I left in such a huff. Oh, no. It's okay. Hey, um, I found that book that Lily got Olivia in the trash. Really? Hey, did you, um, Jen, did you rip it up? What? No. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I think I'd know. It's just your temper. You know what, Monica? I didn't do it, and I really don't need a lecture from you on anger management right now. I gotta go. What is it, Ruby? Nothing. Is that your mom? Okay, go get your bag. I don't want you to be late for soccer practice. Great back here. Thank you. Sam. Ugh, don't answer it. As your sister, I wouldn't, but as your lawyer, I have to. Hey, Sam. I have had enough, Monica. Your sister is out of control. Uh, slow down. What's going on? Jennifer could have killed Laura today. That is what is going on. I am filing a restraining order. I'm going to see to it that she's never allowed anywhere near our daughter. Sam. Can you just tell me what actually happened? Laura is in the hospital, Monica, and she might need surgery, all right? Somebody pushed her down a ravine when she was running. She could have died, Monica. Oh, Sam, 
I'm so sorry. We spoke to the police. We told them we're certain it's Jen. Wait, so Laura said it was her? Jennifer threatened Laura today, physically. And later on, Laura saw her driving by our house, and she had no reason to be there. She is going to pay for what she's done. What? What did you say? That you tried to hurt Laura? What? It's crazy. Jen, what exactly happened today? I told you, we had some words. That, that's it. Oh, I know, I mean, later, like around three or four. Nothing. I was at the studio. Sam says you pushed Laura down a ravine while she was jogging? He's lost his mind. I would never do that. Mom, I was nowhere near Laura. This is just some plan to try and get full custody of Ruby. Why can't you see that? All I know is Laura's in the hospital. Sam contacted the police, and they filed a restraining order against you, Jen. And I don't think they're making it up. Why don't you believe me? Hey, Monica. My guests are arriving. We'll talk about this later. Hi, John. Hey. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> it's good to see you. <gasps> Come on in. OK. <laughs> These are, these are really nice, yeah? Thank you. Yeah, of course. Happy birthday. Thank you for the party, babe. You really outdid yourself. I'm gonna go check on Olivia. Oh, uh, Brad, I had um, a little extra time, uh, so I reorganized your closet, and your pajamas are on the bottom shelf. Wow, really? <laughs> well, thank you. And I made your overnight oats for tomorrow morning. You are the best. What would we do without <laughs> you? <laughs> hey, Lily, can you give us a minute? Sure. Thank you. I'm very worried about you, Jen. You sound like mom. It's gross. I didn't do anything, so there's nothing for you to worry about. All right, well, let's go over it then. Um, when you left here, you went to the studio? Yeah. Then why is Laura saying you were driving by her house? Because she's crazy, OK, and out to get me. Jen. You called me from the street. I saw the neighbor's house in the background. So? OK. I went to see Ruby for a minute. But you don't understand. That woman lives with my child. She takes her to, to dance class and soccer practice. She does her nails. You know, Lori even said she was more like Ruby's mother than I was. I do know how hard this is for you. But I don't think you appreciate how much trouble you could be in, Jen. So just... Be honest with me. I cannot believe that you think that I would hurt her or anyone. Look, I know I've had my issues, but just how messed up do you think I am? If you were in the park when Laura got hurt, I need to know. You're making me out to be the bad one. Just like you've always done. I'm trying to help you. I cannot believe you, Monica. You are my sister. You are the one person in this entire world that is supposed to stand by me and believe me. Jen? Jen, oh, no! Jen? You almost set my entire backyard on fire. Well, I'm sorry, okay? You know what? Just don't come back here anymore, not until you've gotten professional help, because you are not yourself, and I do not want you around Olivia like this anymore. What? 
I'm her aunt. Don't you take her away from me, too? Why are you punishing me? I'm not punishing you. Are you afraid of me? No. I need space, Jen. I'll still represent you. But I think we both need some time to just breathe separately. Whatever's going on with you, Jen, I clearly am not capable of helping you the way you need. You're killing me, Monica. You're killing me! Jen! Stop! It's not forever! Jen! Jen! Brad, you have a work dinner tonight, right? No, it turned into just drinks. This is delicious, Lily. Good. You're babysitting tonight, right? Yes. Um, is it okay if I swing by my mom's house with Olivia later today? She's dying to meet her. I mean, it's not far. Of course. I didn't even know your mom lived in the area. You know, she's always welcome here, too. Would love to meet her sometime. Thank you. It's very sweet. <sighs> Great. What's wrong? I've got a meeting with Jen tonight for the first time since everything. Sam's going for the jugular. But you haven't spoken to her at all? And only about her case. Luckily, Sam had to drop the charges. That's good. Yeah. I mean, they don't have enough evidence. Laura didn't actually see her face, and the DA didn't think it would hold up. Mm. But, like, her custody issues, it's a whole nother battle. Oh, drinks won't take that long. How about I meet you at your office for backup? I got you, babe. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Yeah. Bye, Lily. Oh, bye, guys. Okay. Sam and Laura aren't happy. Laura's filed a restraining order against you. I didn't do it. They don't have any evidence. They're using the day you lunged at Laura to prove you're a threat. What about Ruby's dance classes and recitals? Laura's her dance teacher. Will I still be able to go to them? If the judge approves the restraining order, then probably not. This is absurd. He will fight it. They're still filing for full custody, right? Yes. Lana, I'm losing everything. Everything that means anything to me. My daughter, my niece. I can't lose Ruby and Olivia. You won't. And I'm not having Lily calling herself Aunt Lily. What? I'm Olivia's aunt, not her. Of course you are. I don't know what you're talking yes, about. Yes, you do. You know exactly what I'm talking about, and I can't take it anymore. Everyone is against me. Hey, Jen, take a breath. I'm not going to let this happen. Call 911. She's beautiful, Lily. And good. Yeah, I know. You make wonderful babies. This reminds me of holding you when you were little. It's a very special feeling. But I'm not sure if this is what you should be doing right now. Mom. I mean, what about Getting a job with the future? Or going back to school? You know what, we actually, we, we really have to go. I hardly got to see you. 
Brad and Monica are going to be home soon. So. I have to put Olivia to bed. It's okay. I know. Yeah. Yeah, baby girl. It's bedtime. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. Will you text me when you get to their house? It's late. It's good to see you again, Mom. Good to have you back. Hon, I'm so sorry. Jen, you need to go. Monica, I... I don't need the added stress right now. It was an accident. Your lack of self-control has never been an accident. It's a choice. Mon. But the trauma you brought my family has got to go. Jen, you need to give us space. But we're family. You can't just throw out family like the trash. Just please, go. Baby girl, you light up my life Don't wanna live a day without you In my darkest days, you make them bright In the end, I know we'll make it through mm -hmm. Ah she was just about to take a nap, but I'm sure you're dying to hold her. I am. Thank you so much for last night. Of course. How's Brad? I've been so worried. Oh, I hate to ask this, but um, I have to go into the office for a meeting here in a little bit. Is there any way you could stay a little bit longer? Norm normally I'd reschedule, but um, it's a huge client. <laughs> He's leaving for Europe tomorrow. You poor thing. Oh, this is all too much for you. Of course, I can take her. <sighs> Thank you. Yeah. Well, you don't sound too happy. I'm all right. How are the kids? Oh, they're great. It goes by so fast, you know? I mean, look at Ruby. She's getting so big. She is. Excuse me. 
Looking for a Jennifer Perry. Can I help you, officer? Are you Jennifer Perry? Uh, yes. You've been served with a restraining order. What? My lawyer said that we are fighting this, that it would be dismissed. You have to ask her, ma'am. So our game plan is we're going to prove there was no due process. Monica, I'm so sorry to bother you. Your, your sister's here. She seems really upset. Just tell her with a client. Sorry, John. So in order to prove that, we need to file this injunction. She's really busy. What do you mean she's busy? I I'm sorry. She's with a, an important client. And I'm not important. I am her sister, and I was just served a restraining order. OK. Monica said that we'd fight it, but until we do, I cannot see my own daughter, so I need to talk to Monica. Let me try again. I'll just go back there. No, no, no. No. I'll be best if I do it, OK? So the injunction is going to take two weeks? At most. OK. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, John, can you give me one second? Excuse me. What's going on? Jen's really upset. She got a restraining order. She said you were going to fight it. We will fight it. But you need to tell her it's not until after we go to court. Monica! Sam is away for work. How am I supposed to see Ruby if she is with Laura all the time? I will talk to you about this later. You need to get your priorities straight. I'm family. Monica, do you want me to call security? You need to think about that? It seems the hit to the back of the head caused a contusion. We want to keep you a bit longer. How much longer? A day or two, depending on what we find. I'm a, I'm a bit dizzy. I, I could go home. It's important that you rest. I'm ordering a few tests just to make sure. We want you whole and healthy before we send you home. OK. Thank you, Dr. Shannon. Yes. I cannot believe Jen caused all this. I mean, I want what's best for her and Ruby. I'm sorry, babe. Why don't you take the night off and go home and take care of Olivia? Do you be okay? She needs you more than I do. He has to stay another night. But you have been here way too much. Are you kidding me? I love it here. And my place is so boring. I'm, I can totally stay longer if you need. That's so nice. Thank you. I would actually like to get up early and go back to the hospital. Hey, is Olivia sleeping? Yes. Mm. OK, good. Mm. Mm. I cannot talk to Jen right now. I understand. Hi, it's Monica. Leave a message. So now you're not taking my calls? That's great, Monica. As my lawyer, you better call me back. Mm -hmm. Want me to come to you? Fine. Seen someone sleep so beautifully. Oh, I miss her so much. Both of you get some sleep. I love you so much. I love you too. Good night. Good night.
Lily? anyone ever has. <laughs> and we're gonna be the best family. Yeah. In this house, the three of us, just like we were meant to be. Okay? <laughs> oh, what? I just want you to know she's alive. She is? Great. Come with me. We have some questions for you. Okay. What hit me? Guys, what hit me? Let's, let's sit up slowly. Take a few deep breaths. There you go. Where's my baby? Where's my baby? Hey, hey, no, she's okay. She's okay. She's with me. All right? I'm here for you. Monica, we need to take you to the hospital. Are you okay with leaving your daughter here? Will you take care of Olivia? Of course. So you didn't see your attacker at all? They came up behind me. It happened so fast. Here, I brought you this. Jennifer, I'd like to ask you some questions. I told you everything at the house. My sister texted me, and when Jennifer, I got there... I didn't text you. Just tell the truth. I am telling the truth. You have to believe me. Monica, you wrote, please come over now. We have to talk. Look. I did not write that. Well, I didn't write it myself. I wouldn't even know how to do that. Mom, please. Please check your phone. You're right. Jen, I don't remember writing this. A head trauma can cause some confusion. No, I remember everything. I was making tea, I put the kettle on, and I sensed someone behind me. When did I send that text? Uh, 7.15. I was in the shower then, and Lily was the only one who had access to my phone. When I interviewed Lily, she said she was running an errand for you. I didn't ask her to go anywhere. I'm so sorry. I'm confused. Maybe Lily's the one who hurt you. She wouldn't do that. Would she? Baby girl, you light up a life. Couldn't live a day without you. All my darkest days, you live in pride. We need to find my baby. If you know Lily's address, I'll send Jones over there right now. It's 19 Demarest Drive, and I want an Amber Alert out now. Jones, I need a 1090. A 1090.
Lily Mahoney. Lily. No response, heading back. Did you find Lily? No one was there. Jones looked through the windows and the house was empty. Did you go inside? Yeah, we need a warrant for that. Well, get one. Have the judge issue an emergency warrant. They could be in danger. Did you drive? Yeah. Let's go. But that is not a good idea. Hey, I'm a lawyer and a mother, and I'm going to find my baby. Where are we going? To Lily's house. If the cops won't go in, we will. I'm in. There's a gate. Come on. Lily? Mon, I don't think anyone's in there. We have to get in to find out. Lily and Olivia hurt in there. Jen, I gotta get in. Try this. Hurry, before the neighbors call the police. Careful, let's go. Lily? Mon, look at this. What? It's about Lily and her mom. Her grandmother steals adopted baby back. Look at the date. That's the year Lily had her first baby. Lily always said it was such a gift to give her baby up for adoption. This says she was devastated. Her mom tried to steal the baby back. And her mom went to jail for it. Does it say her mom's name? <sighs> Susan Lorenz. Susan's a criminal. She could have kidnapped Lily and Olivia. Google her name and find an address. Chris, I know she lives close by. Maybe Lily took Olivia there. I'll take a look. I'm a lawyer. This is the home of my employee. I'm calling the police. Just put the bat down. I can, I can explain. No explaining. You broke in. I caught you. 
911, what's the nature of your emergency? I found two women breaking into my neighbor's house. Tell them there's an Amber Alert out for my baby, Olivia Hunt. Did someone say Olivia Hunt? Hey. Hey! Sir, do you have Olivia Hunt? What are you doing, Lily? Just where is it, Mom? I know that you hide the money somewhere. You're not taking my money. I'm going to pay you back. You just tell me where it is. I need to go. I need to go now. Go where? And what about Olivia? She's coming with me. You are not going to take that baby, no, Lily. No, you don't get to tell me. Ever since you took my baby away from me, it's all I can think about. Every time I see a mother with her daughter, I wonder where my baby is and how some other woman gets to raise her instead of me. You have no idea what that's done to me. But Olivia? She's giving me my happiness back. My purpose. and you don't get to take it from me. It was the right decision at the time. You were so young, you were practically a baby yourself. And I covered for you. Remember? I took the blame for what you did, Lily. We're close, 23 Dean Road. What's our plan when we get there? to find Olivia at any cost. I went to prison for you when you tried to steal that baby. It was my baby. And when you got caught, I told them I did it. Because that's what a mother does for her daughter. She protects her daughter, but I will not protect you again. Oh, so you're just going to leave threatening notes on my door? I had to keep an eye on you because I know what you've been doing. You should have just called me and told me you were home. You stopped calling. All those years you didn't even visit. Yeah, because you ruined my life. You ruined my life. I was empty. I was destroyed. I met Monica and Brad and they offered me something special. And I thought if, if, I, if I helped them, it would fill the emptiness in me. But Olivia did instead. <sighs> and that's how I knew Monica had to die. What? He set it up perfectly. Set the sister to take the blame. I mean, Jen, with all her, her bad temper and her, her custody issues. And then, then Brad, Brad would, would turn to me and then I have the family I've always wanted. Everything was going to plan. Every detail was lining up so that it looked like Jen. And that no one would ever suspect me. But I messed up. And there's no going back now. Were you able to get through to the police? Calls keep dropping. And now the map's frozen. We're, we're close. I, I just don't know exactly how close. Well, hey, thank you for getting us this far. And for coming with me. You've always looked out for me. And Mom, going to find Olivia. <gasps> Her car's in the driveway. Lily's car. You ready? I think we should find some cell service and call the police. I can't sit here knowing Olivia's inside there. I think I can talk Lily out of doing anything crazy. Monica, she tried to kill you. She's dangerous. Fine. You'll get the police. I'm getting my baby. I'm not leaving you, Monica. Oh, damn it. 
Lily, you have to give this baby back to her mother. I am her mother. Stop mothering me. I don't need you. I never did. Now I have everything I need. I have Olivia. You're not in your right mind. You need help. You can't stop me. Not this time. Thanks, Mom. You've been a real help. The diaper bag. Where are you going, Lily? No! Lily, no, stop! Lily! No, Lily! No! Stop, Lily! Okay. Front door. Give Olivia to me, and everything will be okay. Lily. All I wanted was to be a mother. And I was about to have my family when, when my mom made me give up my baby. I cannot imagine how much pain that must have been, Lily. This is different. You see that, right? My boyfriend said that we could have another one, and when I was finally ready, he left me. That's in the past, Lily. Right now, you need to let me take Olivia home. I don't want to do this any of it but i can't give up my baby lily lily you have to let us out i won't lily stop i won't let you get in the way <laughs> I carried her inside me for nine months. I made her. You have no idea what it's like to carry a baby inside you. You have no idea how hard it is to give her away again. I don't. You're right. And I never will. But I would never do this to another woman. You're so good, Monica. I'm so sorry. Then why are you hurting my family? Because when Olivia was inside me, I saw the truth. What's the truth, Lily? She can only have one mother. Monica? No! Jen! Oh, Jen! No, Mom, you're not ruining this again. Oh, honey! No, you need to come quickly. It, my daughter's crazy. Put the phone down, Mom. And give me my baby. <laughs> I put Olivia in the car. The keys are inside. She's safe. I can't leave you. Go. Drive as fast as you can.
Monica, Monica, open the door, Monica, Monica, open the door, Monica. Hey, sweetie, it's okay, it's okay, mommy's here, okay? We did it together. Jen, how can you ever forgive me? Mom, please, we're sisters. Nothing's gonna change that. I love you, no matter what. See you at the hospital? Great. Just please keep an eye on my niece. <laughs> Don't let her out of your sight. She's only gonna be with me, Brad, or you from here on. Or Ruby, when she gets a little older. Of course. It's our family. happy that we're spending this time together again. Mm. You have Aunt Monica to thank. She is a great lawyer and the best mother. Mom, don't undersell yourself. Aww. I love that bracelet, Ruby. Thank you. My mom has a matching one. And they're perfect, just like you. Ooh, what do you say? Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, we have some parenting news. We do. Really? What? We're gonna have another baby. Oh, 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 that's so crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, are you all ready to be a big sister? Mm -hmm. Big sister of the beyond. And we've decided who we want to be our new surrogate. That's great. Just give me your name. I will hire a private detective and do a deep background check, and then I'll call the FBI and make sure she is up. Absolutely legit. Yeah. Well, you won't have to do that because we already know who we want. Who? We were hoping you would do it, Chin. If you're up for it. I, yeah. <laughs> of course I'm up for it. Yes. Thank you. Brad. Monica. We couldn't ask for a better surrogate. Or a better sister. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing like family, right? 